Balak said to Balaam, Come now, I will take thee to another place. Perhaps it shall be straight in the eyes of the God, and thou shalt curse the people for me from thence. And Balak took Balaam to the top of the Paror that looketh down upon the desert. And Balaam said to Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered up a bullock and a ram on every altar. Bamidbar Numbers chapter 24 And when Balaam saw that it pleased Yahweh to bless Yisrael, he went not, as at the other times, to meet with enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Yisrael dwelling according to their tribes. And the Spirit of God became upon him. And he took up his parable, and said, Balaam the son of Beor saith, and the man whose eye was closed saith, He saith, Who heareth the words of God, who seeth the vision of the Almighty, falling down and having his eyes open. How goodly are thy tents, O Yaakov, thy tabernacles, O Yisrael! As valleys are, they spread forth, as gardens by the riverside, as lion aloes which Yahweh hath planted, as cedar trees beside the waters. Water shall flow from his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God bringeth him forth out of Mithraim, like horns of a wild ox for him. He shall eat up the nations his adversaries, and shall break their bones in pieces, and smite them through with his arrows. He couched, he lay down as a lion, and as a lioness, who shall rouse him up? Blessed be every one that blesseth thee, and cursed be every one that curseth thee. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he smote his hands together. And Balak said to Balaam, I called thee to curse my enemies. And behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now flee thou to thy place. I thought to promote thee to great honour, but lo, Yahweh hath kept thee back from honour. And Balaam said to Balak, Spoke I not also to thy messengers that thou sentest to me, saying, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the mouth of Yahweh to do either good or bad from my own heart. What Yahweh speaketh, that will I speak. And now, behold, I go to my people, come, and I will advise thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam the son of Baor saith, and the man whose eye was closed saith, He saith, Who heareth the words of God, and knoweth the knowledge of the Most High, who seeth the vision of the Almighty, falling down, and having his eyes open. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. There shall come forth a star out of Yaakov, and a scepter shall rise out of Yisrael, and shall smite through the corners of Moab, and break down all the sons of Tumult, 
and the dorm shall be a possession. Sheir also shall be a possession, who were his enemies, while Yishrael doeth valiantly, and out of Yaakov shall one have dominion, and shall destroy the remnant from the city. And he looked on Amalek, and took up his parable, and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall come to destruction. And he looked on the Qaini, and took up his parable, and said, Strong is thy dwelling place, and thy nest is set in the rock. Nevertheless, Qayin shall be wasted, until Hashur shall carry thee away captive. And he took up his parable, and said, Alas, who shall live when God doeth this? But ships shall come from the coast of Ketim, and they shall afflict Ashur, and shall afflict Eber, but also he is unto destruction. And Balaam rose up, and went and returned to his place, and Balak also went his way. And Yishrael abode in Shat and the people began to play the harlot with the daughters of Moab.